Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ino. In today's video, we'll look at how we can install and enable free VPN on Kali Linux. The version is 24.01. Now, VPN is a virtual private network that allows us to secure communication between two devices. We can also use it to provide privacy when information travels over the internet. And we can also use the VPN to uh, hide our public facing IP addresses. So we'll, once we have the VPN enabled, we'll see what, what our public IP address is showing and what it's showing our location to be. Now let's open the terminal and let's just look at the version of uh, Kali Linux that we are running. And to check that, we'll use KLC OS release and it's version 24. Dot one. Now, before we can install the VPN, we have to. We'll be using a VPN book, Open VPN, and we need to download it. So I'm gonna open a browser here, and then I'm gonna search for free VPN book, Open VPN. We'll go to the link that takes us to vpnbook.com. Okay, once we're here, we can just scroll down a little bit. Once we get to this section, we want to click on this tab that says Open VPN. And here you have a bunch of different bundles. So you need to download one of these bundles. And also you have to take note of this username and password. We'll need this information when we configure the VPN. Let me go ahead and uh, select one of these. I'm going to go with the US one server here, bundle. And this should be a quick download and it's done. It should download by default to your downloads folder. Let me go to the home directory here. Uh, let's look at downloads. And this is it right here. Now it's a zip file. You can extract it by right clicking on it and saying, selecting where you want to ex extract it to. You can also unzip it from the terminal. So I'm going to go to terminal here. So I'm in the terminal. Let me clear this. And let's go to the downloads folder. And this is it right here. Like I said, it's a zip file dot zip. We need to unzip it or extract it. Now, in order to extract it, we can use the unzip tool. We'll say unzip. So unzip, and then the name of the file we want to unzip, VPN book, hyphen open, VPN, hyphen US1. Use tab completion here, press enter. And it's been extracted. If I do with ls, you'll see the four different files that we now have right here. So we can use one of them when we configure the VPN. Now, in order for us to enable the VPN, there's a command we need to run. The command is going to be sudo open, open VPN, then the name of uh, one of the extracted files. So let me do ls here. And then I run the command sudo open VPN. And then I'm going to copy one of these. I'm going to go with the first one here. I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to copy selection, right click. Paste, paste clipboard, there it is. I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna put in my password, user password. Now here we need to, the authentication username is what we'll need to get from the site. We'll go to back to the browser here. I think I'll minimize this. And down here, you can see that's the username and the password from the website. I'm going to put in this username, VPN book. Then it's asking for the authentication password. It's going to be this one. So B49 DZ H6. Now keep in mind that keep in mind that this password does change from time to time. If you try to connect to your VPN and you're having issues, you might want to come back to the site. Make sure that the password hasn't changed. 
Now, as you can see here, the, we're getting this message initialization sequence completed, meaning we've successfully created our tunnel, which is right here, tunnel one. Now I'm gonna open another terminal here. I'm gonna leave this terminal open because we'll use it to close the VPN. Or if you close this terminal or you exit out, you might have issues when you try to close out your, your VPN. So just leave that terminal open and here you can do IP address. And you should see tunnel one, this is for the VPN. Before you enable the VPN, you shouldn't have a tunnel. When we turn off the VPN, you'll see that this tunnel should go away. Now the tunnel has an IP and that's coming from the VPN configuration. Now that we've seen that we've enabled the VPN, or once you've confirmed that you have a tunnel, you can now verify what your IP address is showing us. Make sure that it's being hidden. Uh, so I'm going to open this again. And there's different websites you can go to to check your public IP address. The first one is IP Chicken. So let's click on this link. And it's just going to tell you what is being shown as your public IP. This is not my public IP. This is what it's showing. However, it doesn't tell me wh what my actual country or city is. It does say the name address. As you can see, the name address is vpnbook.com. That's where it's coming from. Let's see another website that we can check our public IP address. This one also shows us our location. So what is my IP address? So what is my IP address? That's the site. Click on the link. It will show us the same IP, but it will, it will show us more information also. So this is the same IP, as you can see here, 198.7.62.204. And if I scroll down a little bit, it shows the ISP, uh, the city, uh, the region, and the country. It's saying I'm in the United Kingdom, I'm not in the United Kingdom. So effectively, it's hidden my uh, public IP address. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can install the uh, free VPN on the Kali Linux uh, version 2024. So the only thing that you might want to remember is that that password does change from time to time. So if you try to enable your VPN and you run into issues, just uh, go back to the website and make sure that the password you're using is correct. So the, the last thing I want to show is how to turn off your VPN. Uh, the easiest way I've found out is to leave that window open and once you're done with your v and once you're done with your VPN you can come here and do control C and that should kill your VPN or exit the VPN once you've done that you can verify you can go back to your you can come back here and verify with the command IP address just to make sure we don't have a tunnel anymore and as you can see we no longer have a tunnel we just have these two interfaces loopback zero uh, it's zero, which is my wired interface, and the tunnel tunnel one is no longer there, meaning that the VPN has been turned off. That's all for this video. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.